Hi, in this video we will discuss about Mangalore University Fordson BCA Computer Graphics and Animation Lab Part A Program. Program 5. Write a program to implement digital clock to display current time in HHMMSS with ticking sound. HHMMSS means hour, minute and uh, seconds. So, if the current time is 11, 16, 48, 49, 50, 51 like that, it should move on. And here the sound also should come, a ticking sound of the clock. To start with, let us go for including graphics.h and initialize the graph. Here I am going to use one more header file that is dos.h. DOS.h supports all the DOS commands. DOS is the disk operating system. Inside that DOS.h, we, we, we have commands to get the current time and also so to set the current time of your computer. So, Windows, we in the right hand side, to, right hand side bottom, we will have time, no? We can set the date and time. The same way, in DOS operating system, we have a command, get time and set time. So, we are going to use that only to get our uh, current time of the computer. So, here we are going to declare a structure time, structure time t which is also inside our dos.h and I am using a string to hold the time. Then, we will just set the color to green to get the output displayed in green color and as I explained already, not equal to kb hit will be an infinite loop and it will be executed till you press your keyboard any key is pressed then it will stop so we can just use the get time method or a function get time of ambersen t it means it will get the current time the of a computer and it will store it in a variable t a structure variable t in this structure we are going to have three different variables structure uh, variable that is t1 underscore hover is going to return the current hover ti underscore minutes will return the times minute and second will return the second value and i am storing it in a variable h hr min minutes and seconds now let me use one interesting command i call it as s printf you know printf what is s printf Usually, when you use printer, the output will be printed on the screen. That is your console. It will be printing it on your current output device. But if I want to print something to your string and I want to use it and I can go for this S printf. Yes, printf is string printf. So, where it is going to print? In my string str of size 10 where I have declared here. So, what I have to print? I have to print hour, minutes and second and which is of type integer and I'm going to use percentage point 2D. Percentage dot decimal point 2D I am using because I want to print the values with preceding zeros if the digit is 1. For example, if the time is 10, 5, I want to print it as 10, 0 5 not 1 as 5 so normally if you use percentage d it will print as 5 but i want it in 0 5 format so i am going to use percentage dot 2 d a formatting characters so percentage dot point 2 d colon because you want a colon in between percentage dot 2 d colon percentage dot 2 d with the double quotes and then you are going to print hour, minutes and seconds inside a string. So now where is the current time? It is in a variable string. str. So now to display the output, I am going to create two rectangles. Since I have set the color to green, it is going to print everything in a green color. I am drawing two rectangles and I am setting the textile to 4, 0, 5. Five. So, to get displayed in a big size and I am using out text xy of 
180 comma 220 of string so string is going to display now 10 0 5 and the time if it is seconds is 49 it will print 49 set text style of 408 and i am going to set the size to a little bit bigger and i will print a message that is digital clock with uh, with some particular font and i say sound of 400 the sound of 400 is going to create a ticking sound so clock ticking sound you, you know no? the ticking sound can be created by using this particular sound of 400 then I am going to give a delay of some 30 seconds and I say no sound. No sound means the sound will be stopped and the delay of 930 that is I am going to give 1000 milliseconds. Every millisecond the time should move that is 49 it should go to 50. For 50 it should go to 51. So this 30 plus 90 approximately it is going to give you 1000 milliseconds delay and I will give clear viewport so that the screen will be erased and it will go for my uh, while once again so it will get the current time once again that may be if it is 0 5 means next one is 0 6 and so on it is going to display 49 50 51 and so on so this is a simple program it is not having not more than 50 code but you are going to get beautiful output if you happy coding